Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white with red and blue, officially weighing in at 146 one half pounds. His professional record, an outstanding one. 27 victories, including 21 knockouts with only two defeats. From Moca, Puerto Rico, Boricuas, the challenger, former welterweight champion of the world, Carlos El Indio Quintana. Inviting out of the red corner, wearing red with blue, official weight 146, one quarter pounds. This Olympia Daiti now has a perfect professional record consisting of 25 fights, 25 victories, including 19 knockouts. His heritage is Haiti. He's fighting out of Winter Haven, Florida, the undefeated reigning defending WBC welterweight champion of the world, Andre Beto. Gentlemen, this is the main event, 12 rounds for the WBC welterweight championship of the world. And I gave you the instructions. I want to remind you, this audience is here to watch you fight, so keep it clean, touch them up. Uh, interesting point, uh, Emmanuel. This is the third straight southpaw. Again, which, and that's a slip. That, that may be a little different in this case. It'll be where Berto's gonna have to really stretch to hit him. One of the best and most natural uppercuts I think I've ever seen, Emmanuel, with either hand. Very, very good punch with either hand. Let his back a little bit, into the back. He's always keeping that. No punching. Harold Letterman gives the first one's right hand and bent over to his left to, uh, and, and, and to make Berto miss. Because he see Berto's trying to pretty much gamble on just that right hand. There's that sneak left hook that gave Paul Williams so many problems in their first fight. Primary scoring weapon against Williams, he landed, is not surprising. And Quint, uh, Quintana is working that right jab and, and always looking for the right hand back from Berto. And if the, that knockdown had been scored officially the first round, Quintana would have two rounds in his end. by Quintana. Hey. Hitting behind the head. Good left hook by Berto. Other than his own. And his hardest fight against Luis Galazzo. This smarts, but he just doesn't have the hand speed. Talent. Berto is not a volume puncher. When you're shorter than most of your opponents, it's difficult to pour punches onto them. But now he's making Quintana more and more on the defensive. Yeah, Quintana. That his confidence is going up. No, no, no. And Quintana is going to flip with disqualification if this keeps up. Point, there is a point head. deduction. And frankly, I think one that one was deserved. Quintana 13 out of 46. Let's see if Harold Letterman made it a 10-8 round. Harold, how do you have it? You got to with that big left hand early to win round two. Burt every time. If Quintana throws the first punch, he's very effective. Two to one, Berto. Quintana not to hold Berto's left arm, which he's done on two or three occasions. Too. Nope, nope. There we go again. Now that could have all things that are loose and proliferating in Florida. <laughs> Some of them growing to 20 feet long. Good left hand over the top by Berto. Heavy shot to the body. Berto is starting to make bigger and bigger impact. This is this is how Cotto uh, dominated. Quintana getting him on the ropes, pounding him hard. Left arm pinned. Now Andre gets away. Quintana's like an octopus when they get inside, Emmanuel. Your fighter. He's, he's doing a lot of things, and I'm just wondering. Good uppercut right now, by Quintana. Say, I was wondering, because Berto is a Cosme Rivera, Puerto Rican veteran. As promoter Lou DeBella said, 
Hawks. It was hard. And Brittle makes it easy because he just pushes himself forward. See, right there's what I'm saying. Plays when he's pushing forward. Berto sees an opportunity here. Quintana is hurt. They both landed clean punches. Yeah. Berto's was linting will bail him out if Kimmins allows it. Hard right hand by Berto. Quintana now in serious trouble against the ropes. Wobbling, trying to grab again. Keeps throwing punches. Berto looking for one more right hand. And Quintana's got his legs back already. Here we see the right hand, the shot that came in that hurt Quintana. And I, I look as I look at him, I think it hurt him and stunned him, got his attention, but I don't think he... Box out. Andre Berto was amateur. He had two victories over the smaller Timothy Bradley and two victories over the larger Andre Durrell. Controversially disqualified at the trials because of an incident in which... Quintana dropped his left hand momentarily, and Berto got in another right hand shot. Yeah, but it, but it seemed like it didn't hurt Quintana. And to hurt Berto, he's going to have to catch him with something that That's doesn't a good see point, coming. Right, because he's that the type of guy. Just, just hopefully there are some question marks about Berto. He has real pop. <laughs> again, they trade solid shots, and again, Berto's is the harder punch. But Quintana hit. Berto, four or five clean shots to the ribs. He had a hand free. He was punished. But other than that, Andre Berto winning the fight based on, you know, he's trying to let him fight inside. That was Two. kind of ease the way out of most of those punches. I disagree with Here we, here we see the exchange that we were speaking about here in the, near the corner. Where First you one see misses. Was misses, I think. He misses on this misses one. Misses on that one. This now is watch where you this get one your, land. You get your points on yep. this one here. Bing. Boom. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Remarkable uh, knockouts we've seen in the last couple of years. But, yes, yeah, so over the course of 12 oh rounds, he's not exactly beautiful. He flinched on the left hand. I think he is yeah. bothered sometimes by the bicep, but the right hand is still working very well for Berto. Because Quintana can't deal with the speed. That's just the difference. He's got a lot of good strategy, but he, but he just can't deal with speed. Just two shots. I mean, too slow. This is not much this to do about the end nothing. Of the fight this here. is a good point at which to stop the fight, possibly. But now Quintana is going to get out of it. Andre Berto was very close to making his point right there. He's still pressuring Quintana from corner to corner. And that's a huge right hand right on the face. Still a minute to go in the round. I don't know. Hard to see how Quintana gets out of this, though. He's got good legs and good instinct. And he's also got blood over his right eye. And it's swelling. Berto looks like he needs a blow here. And he's going to come through with another barrage. That right hand was enough for Tommy Kimmins. A perfect shot right down the pipe. Oh, my gosh. What? Trader Tony Morgan shocked Andre Berto with a tackle that could have injured his fighter. Quite frankly, that was not smart. Now Berto's up on Morgan's shoulders, but he was momentarily shocked by the tackle. Too so Berto joins Paul Williams and Miguel Cotto as people who knock out Carlos Quintana. Too strong, too hungry, and still undefeated. Close the show, landing by CompuBox count, 32 of his last 46 power shots. The accuracy with the right hand was ultimately the difference. Yeah, once Quintana slowed down, he couldn't judge in time him so well. That was he would start landing the right hands. 
So Andre Berto moves to 26 and 0 and stays in the running for big money fights against the superstars in the welterweight division. This is the punch that hurt Quintana earlier in the round and set up what amounted to a sustained assault by Berto. From here, they went to the other corner, which was in effect Quintana's corner, and Berto hammered him some more. And I will give the referee credit. Even though he might have been in a lot of controversial situations early in the fight, I thought he did a great job of stopping the fight. He stopped it at the appropriate time. And here comes the stoppage. Watch the perfect straight right hand that lands right on the nose and mouth of Quintana. Boom. When Kimmons saw that, he'd seen enough. Perfect. That's a finish. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official particulars on the Ladies finish. and gentlemen, referee Tommy Kimmins steps in and calls a halt to the contest. The official time, two minutes, 16 seconds of round number eight. The winner by TKO victory and still the undefeated WBC welterweight champion of the world, Andre.